kids had a, had a tremendous time. I had emails and calls from parents. What a great experience my, my child had. What's the plan for next summer? We're gonna sign up again. I was able to get a group of sixth and seventh graders into my workshop. And even some of the students were not even in our school district. The goal is to get them excited and interested in looking at manufacturing as potential careers. Learning a skilled trade is, is like giving someone a gift of pride in themselves. It's all the things that come along with that skilled trade that really can make a difference in a young person's life. A lot of our job as, as educators now is to give kids exposure where they can say, yes, I love this, or no, I don't like it. And that kind of narrows their focus for career paths. Giving the individual the opportunity to learn those skills doesn't mean they're gonna do that forever. That could be the first step to being the CEO of their company. As they continue to go through high school and learn more about, think more about what they want to do, we have a scholarship program that allows these fantastic young people to move to the next level in their education. The kids saw what school could look like for them uh, after high school as well. I had reached out to NBT maybe in 20, 2019 when I was attending Pennsylvania College of Technology and I was awarded a scholarship for uh, that semester at school. One of the teachers that I had, he mentioned that there was a scholarship called the Not Sports Think Thinking Magic Scholarship and that um, I should apply. We're gonna land them in the workforce. We're gonna make them real powerful engines in the manufacturing culture across the United States. Giving kids an opportunity, um, number one, to go to camp to develop job skills and to introduce them to a, a career maybe in manufacturing. It gives the students themselves confidence that they can do this. Probably more importantly, it gives their parents confidence. A parent has asked me before, you know, how many of these kids would you hire? We would hire every one of them. We've seen placement within our facilities. We've seen placements with some of the partners in the community. NBT supporting these kids so that they can go to this camp really puts them in a position to be successful in life. If you have someone like NBT supporting initiatives like this, it really opens these companies' eyes to doing this themselves. And so it really helps fix a problem, which is there's not enough labor out there to fill, fill the jobs that we have. For these 25 to 30 kids who went through camp and eventually found jobs, and most in manufacturing, would not have had that opportunity without NBT. There's an absolute gap in opportunity to get into our trade. And NBT is stepping up and making a path for young people to get in this game and to f put food on their family's table for the rest of their lives. Maybe I can find myself on a college campus. Maybe I can find myself on a career path that's going to help me get further in my life, right? So this is the first step to opening up some doors for you. So one of my colleagues shared with your class last week a quote that I now am going to adapt um, into my presentation. And he told a group of students here last week not be afraid to be great, okay? Don't be afraid, it makes me emotional. Don't be afraid to be great, okay? You guys did great this week. Yeah. <laughs>